Hello everyone, it's time for my nonsense again. Uh, yes, uh, UFO Co. was moving slightly. Uh, I need to fix that. Uh, I, I don't think they're, they're, they're parallel with each other, which is a problem. That, that's going to bother me, so I'll, uh, I'll have to fix that at some point. Um, but hello! Um, uh, how's, how's the sound, by the way? Is it too quiet? Uh, can, can you hear me? Okay, that's great. Uh, I'll probably have to adjust it when I get into the game. So, uh, hi everyone. Uh, we finished up Tecmo Classic Arcade last week, so uh, we're moving on to another video game collection. And this one came out um, y yesterday. <laughs> this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Cowabunga Collection. Uh, 13 games, all made by Konami, between 1989 and 1993. Hi Sardus, it is indeed pizza time. Um, so, yes, this is all of the Turtles games that Konami made before uh, before the, the franchise sort of disappeared off the face of the earth for a while. They did start making uh, them again in 2003. And in fact, that's where the menu music apparently comes from. Uh, the, one of the 2003 ones. Um, but what we have here is 13 Turtles games. So um, before we get started, uh, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to play the original arcade game, which we're seeing right now, and the uh, and the NES port thereof, retitled uh, TMNT 2, the arcade game. Because, you know, there was... I'm going to try and put as many games as I reasonably can between me and the first NES TMNT because uh, that's going to be a long stream, I can feel it. <laughs> There's a strategy guide included with this game, but I don't know how much help it's going to be. So, uh, you know what, funnily enough, they do actually mention that one platform that the AVGN couldn't get past in the strategy guide. That that is that is addressed, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Okay, so um, hold on. So what is a Ninja Turtle? We just don't know. End of stream. <laughs> um, this was a an independent. You know what? We're gonna go to the we'll, we'll go to the Turtles Lair first. Let's have a look at. Here it is. The very first Ninja Turtles comic book. Uh, done by. Uh, Eastman and Laird made a sort of a parody of uh, Frank Miller's Ronin and his run on Daredevil. It was kind of meant to be a one-off. They they just sort of, you know, made this comic because they thought it was funny. And uh, then they just kept making them and they got popular. They got a, a licensing deal with Playmates to make a bunch of toys. But you can't make toys without having some sort of TV program to go with it. So there was a, I think it was like four or five episode season one of the of a, of a TV show, and then uh, and then a plucky little company called Konami uh, licensed the game for uh, a NES and an arcade game, and um, they made a lot of money. <laughs> there was there was. There was a lot of money, and you know I'm glad the uh, <laughs> I'm glad to hear the games master covered it as well. Yeah, like it was a, it it just started as a, a, a an indie underground comic. Like, uh, do they have? Yeah, they have. Um, like there was, it was like originally in black and white. God, there's so many issues of this. Uh, here's probably the most famous cover. Uh, used in the for the NES version. So um, oh, I just gotta, I just got to copy a link here. So yeah, Konami made uh, got into uh, made uh, the NES game, and then a couple months later, the first arcade game, and uh, it made money hand over fist for them. 
to the point where uh, um, so it is said in legend Konami would prioritize the Turtles team over everything else which uh, screwed over the Castlevania series in particular uh, there's an interview to that effect here although as pointed out over here there's um, not everything in that interview is necessarily true so you know take it with a pinch of salt but the, the important thing is that Konami rode out Turtle Mania for as long as possible, eventually creating 13 games. Um, and at the same time, they were also trying to find the next Turtles. Yeah, no, JP Ronnie is absolutely right. They wanted to grab as many licenses as possible, uh, including uh, X-Men, The Simpsons, Bucky O'Hare... Uh, Wild West Cowboys of Moo Mesa, which I think was worked on by an artist who had worked on the Turtles. And um, Zen Intergalactic Ninja, which is an especially funny one, because apparently the guy who made it just sort of made up that it was a success. Like, he, he just lied to Konami to get a Game Boy and NES game made, which is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> that that takes that takes a uh, moxie. I, I you know I I appreciate that. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, when I was looking into Bucky O'Hare, I um, there's there's some dedicated fans, like super dedicated. Um, they uh, they they really like that show and the the single toy line that they got. Um. I think they that sort of design even bled into one of their other games. Metamorphic Force was like a scrolling brawler that they made that um, you could have fooled me into thinking that was a Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, what we have here, this is a digital eclipse collection. This is the... Um, I think this is the latest one after the Samurai Shodan collection. Um, and they mostly do a good job. There's some omissions and strange things about this release already, though. So um, please bear that in mind. But we have two objectives tonight. We're going to beat the arcade game. And we're going to try and beat the NES game, which until today I have never played. So that should be interesting. What we do have is a nice menu because it's got like panels from the original black and white comics, which I appreciate. Um... You, you just flip between different panels to select your game. They're in kind of a weird anarchic order. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what they were going for here. Uh, sadly, you do not get the uh, Hero Turtles versions. Um, if you if you, if you are outside the UK and were ever wonder, ever wondering why they were called Hero Turtles and not Ninja Turtles here, there you go. That is that is a very interesting read on on how that happened. So let's get started with the first game. Oh oh, uh, I forgot about this. This is uh, this is the limited edition one that was apparently only sold at Target and. I kind of wanted to get it for my brother because he's a huge Turtles fan, but uh, there was no way for me to get it in the UK. It's got a new uh, piece of Eastman art for based on Turtles in Time. It's got... I really like the, the set of uh, like trading cards they've got because they're, they're based on uh, mutant, uh, the uh, tournament fighters or mutant warriors, uh, the SNES game. You got, you, got some, you got some nice little extras there, but uh, it's not to be. So instead, let's move on to, here's the arcade game. I'm, yes, I'm using the same flyers I did last time. Uh, so we have, we have, we have live action April O'Neil over here. And that issue of the Turtles comic uh, for the Japanese release. Which you can select. Uh, this uh, collection does have region selection for almost every game. There's only two that are missing. But yeah, you can you can select the Japanese version, Super Turtle Ninja as the subtitle, or just have the the standard one. 
So uh, each game lets you watch the whole thing being played from start to finish. I've, I, I probably shouldn't have done that. Hang on. Nope, wait, nope, hang on. There we go. Uh, you've got you've got the change region, but you've also got a list of enhancements. Uh, some games have way more of these than others, but uh, most of them let you start the, the stage you start on. Uh, both the arcade games have a god mode where you... Um, where you don't you can't get you can't get damaged and you do huge damage to enemies you can also remove the timer bombs uh, if you wait too long bombs appear and kill you instantly but you can remove that if you so wish and then there's nightmare mode toggles a mode in the arcade game that dramatically increases the number of enemies as is my understanding, what this does is it basically sets the game to its highest difficulty rank. Not difficulty dip switch, but difficulty rank. Um, the longer you survive on one life in this arcade game, the um, the angrier it gets at you. And it basically plays as if there are more players present than there actually are, increasing the amount of enemy health and the number of enemies that show up. Yes, unfortunately these are the uh, four player versions only, which does cause one kind of strange thing, which we'll see once we boot this up. Um, but this, we're about to play the 1989 arcade game. If you are expecting high level play, <laughs> Nope, nope, not from me, sorry. I do know a couple of tricks, but we're, we're, we're just going to scrub our way through. It is, it is the way of things. So, when you open a game, you get this. Now, the reason they're doing this is, um, you know, this is the four-player arcade game, so that means that each player is going to have a different control panel. So, to sort of make it easier... What they've done is they make you pick which control panel you're going to start from. You cannot change this once you start the game, though, which is a little unfortunate if you want to mess around and try different characters. But we're going to go with uh, we're going to go with uh, overpowered. So, yep, there's changes already. They, they got rid of all the licensing info. And, of course, they re-recorded the vocal for the, for the main theme, which I get. Music licensing is not easy. Um, and this has been, like, a big problem for this game in particular. Uh, if you had a PS2, uh, PS2, Xbox... Um, what was it? PS2, Xbox, GameCube. I think it was the second of the 3D Turtles games that Konami made. Mutant Nightmare, I think it was called. Oh, hey, Rage Quitter. We're, we're, we're about to dine on Turtle Soup. Um, so, Mutant Nightmare included the 1989 arcade game, but it replaced all of the music and got rid of all of the voice samples. It's really rough. Uh... Because, almost certainly because they didn't have, you know, the license to any of the music. Because a lot of it is based on the main theme from the show. Some other games actually have, like, little bits and pieces from the from the TV show in general. So, yeah, it's not... It's not... Yeah, where are the, over, where are the JPEGs overlaying... Uh, <laughs> overlaying the attract mode? This is bullshit. <laughs> You know what? We're gonna we're gonna let this uh, play out just so we can see all the the character profiles. If nothing else, they they really nailed the uh, the presentation like for um for the for this original arcade game. Uh, at this point, Konami had made one other scrolling brawler. Uh, that would be Crime Fighters, which was not great. We've seen that on this stream before, but. What it had in its favour was it had four-player mode. And it also had uh, a kind of a sense of humour. 
And I think those two elements are what they kind of uh, figured would be the most important to put in a game like this. Hippest machine freak this side of Shellville. Uh, I'm guessing you're referring to the Battle Nexus version and then reshelled. I guess that had a different soundtrack again. I I wish we had reshelled to show off that I never bought it. Alas. Anyway, uh, let's see. Now, what are our buttons? Elect electoric. That's an important sign. Okay, so first off, let's take a look at the strategy guide. So you can open this up at any time. And it, it's pretty cute. It's uh, it's done in the style of Nintendo Power. It tells you when these games came out. So we've got, we got some tips on beating Rocksteady. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's very cute. They've they've got like a they've got like a little thing on on who gets the pizza. If a player breaks one of the above commandments, the aggrieved player may choose to immediately administer justice in the form of one one wet willy. And there's also tips specifically for these versions. So you got you got save and load. You got uh, you you got rewind all that sort of stuff. There's multiple filters, which we're not going to use. What the fuck is in L2? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, no, I don't like it. Wow. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Wild boy of the bunch. Raw energy can finish off a foot or a pizza before you can say turtles. Yeah, we're, we're switching that off. Oh, God. Make it stop. I don't know what monitor is supposed to be. None of these filters are especially great, so we're gonna we're gonna keep them switched off. <laughs> PC ninety eight turtles, yes. Okay. Uh, by the way, is the is the game uh, too quiet, too too loud? Let me know. They they don't explicitly say it, but they they kind of imply that there's not enough pizza. We'll get into that later. Um, for now, we'd better coin up. What did I set as the coin button? Oh, we get a profile for Splinter as well. He's 30 years old. I'm going to let that description speak for itself. <laughs> uh, ooh. That is a good point. Maybe it was intended for the Game Boy games, which are presented in black and white. Um, oh, there is one more. Okay, I figured there would be. We're, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting our money's worth. <laughs> we we have the arcade to ourselves, and we're just watching the attract mode. There she is. Oh, she's even got a little, <laughs> a little heart appears. That's cute. News reporter, Turtle's biggest fan, uses any excuse to. Wait, what? <laughs> Was that in the show? Oh no. <laughs> uh, thank you for convincing me to wait. That's really good. <laughs> okay, so, um, where's my insert coin button? There we go. So, you can start now or. You can do the the retro gaming convention special and just insert as many coins as possible, meaning nobody else gets to play. Not speaking from experience, not still bitter about it, honest. <clears throat> okay, uh, here we go. Let's get. Ah, yeah. Scaling. That, that scene was actually missing from the Xbox Live version, for whatever reason. Now, you may have noticed, uh, where's the uh, where's the dip switches? There aren't any. 
Nope, you 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 only get the default options, unfortunately, which is. Uh, I mean, no. Let let me fiddle with the dip switches. Let me be weird. <laughs> that was the the Xbox Live version had a similar problem. So first order of business is learn the timing for the uh, the special attack, which usually takes out enemies in one hit. It's, I think it's like one or two frames you have to hit these, hit the two buttons. There's not much leeway at all. <laughs> yeah, it really is like, oh, what, 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 it, what gets me is most of the other digital eclipse sets do have like at least a few of the dip switches available. And I know that there's a difficulty setting for this game, uh, so I would have thought that they'd uh, they'd include it. But it, nope, and it's the same for Turtles in Time as well. They even include the operator's manual, so you would have seen what dip switches were available. Yes, yes, it does uh, let you change the region on most games. There's two exceptions. Anyway, there's uh, April doing her best impression of the screen. You don't have much in the way of attacks, and it has that. It has the the. This may have been like one of the. F the I think this was the first game where they did the whole. Whenever you press the attack button, you get something random. Um, what does the Japanese version change? As as far as I knew it, all it did was it removed an exploit to um. There, there was an exploit to get a huge uh, point bonus in the in the US version that is not present in the Japanese version. Yeah, this uh, this came out yesterday. Um. I was going to get it because there's a bunch of games on here I've literally never played and the museum stuff looked really interesting, so... Uh, Rocksteady is behaving. He normally does... Oh no, now he's, now he's not, very much not behaving. Uh, sometimes in this fight Rocksteady is just invincible, you can't do anything about it. If nothing else, this state this game has an absolutely dynamite first first stage. It's a hell of a strong opening and it fits the feel of the TV show so well. After that shredder creep. Toidles. <laughs> we'll be hearing more from him later, I'm sure. Mo oh. What's that say? Money money something. Thank you, Uncle Phil. <laughs> oh, we got we got another voice clip here. Who put the light out? Come on, there we go. Oh my goodness, uh, Torsil! Thank you so much for subscribing. Wow, uh, I'm really glad you're enjoying the stream uh, enough to do that. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Welcome to welcome to the the, the club of uh, Sarah Soity's friends. You, you get to use our incredibly silly emotes now, and you get to watch me be terrible at this. Oh boy. Okay. Uh... Now, one of one of the <laughs> one of the sneakier things this game does is. Let me see if I can demonstrate this. Well, first off, these boomerang guys, you can, if you destroy their projectiles, they will keep throwing them and you can earn as many points as you, as you want until you get a time up. So one of the things it does is enemies have invincibility just after they get hit. Timed perfectly so that, uh, 
often if you try and just mash the button to hit them, it won't hit them and they'll they'll get a free hit on you. Okay, we have, we achieved our objective. We hit the uh, skater girl. We get a point for that in the NES version. <laughs> So yeah, if you just mash the button too fast, you often won't get, you often won't actually get to hit them. It definitely more so on bosses, I've noticed. So uh, that's that's to that's to weed out the little children just mashing the buttons. <laughs> yeah, anti little kid <laughs> kid mode. <sighs> this this is kind of the thing with this game. It feels very cynically designed. <laughs> in that it's I don't like to use the term quarter muncher or credit feeder very often because you know a lot of a lot of arcade games are designed better than that uh, this one feels very cynically designed like it's it's going to take it your your money from you unless you happen to know how the game works we'll be we'll be looking at that later I have a YouTube link for you all that's very very interesting that will explain how this game works under the hood. <laughs> I, I like the snort there. So if you time it very, very specifically, uh, Bebop can't do anything. In fact, if you do it fast enough, he nev you never get to hear the, the second set of dialogue. There we go. Easy game. Easy game for babies. And here's the other trick I know. If you very slightly get up here. No, nope, a little more. There we are. Uh, enemies, no one can hit me now. <laughs> um, uh, no, I was, I, I wasn't, yeah, there we go. <laughs> It's not just the fact that I got hit, it's the fact that I died as well. That's what makes that even funnier. <laughs> the streamer's curse, I, I, I decided to speak. That was a mistake. Anyway, if you step on the very ridge here, then you can't, you can't actually be hit. Programming ledges is hard. Is the introduction of the Mausers, everyone's favourite enemy in these games. That is that is an excellent emote. That's very good. The rats are indeed jamming out. Anyway, if you're wondering why I picked Donatello, I've been informed that he's the he's the strongest one, just because he has way more range than everyone else. This is the uh, this is kind of the thing with Turtles games. Uh, some of them definitely play better in video games than others. Pizza time. It is pizza time. That is correct. What the? Where'd that come from? Oh my god! What? No! <laughs> oh hi, Squirrel Boss! Welcome. We're playing. Uh, we're playing this game about turtles. I think it's kind of weird. <laughs> Thank you for clipping that. <laughs> ah, the hubris of the streamer. No, I, di I didn't quite have the positioning right. <laughs> That's my excuse. Anyway, uh, boss time. Yep, 
I can't remember when they mutated D Baxter Stockman, but uh, this mutated form does not appear here. Uh, I also can't hit him. Maybe he has the ledge tech that I don't. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm a <laughs> dumped. I'm giving a hidden gem a chance. Oh, I feel dirty saying that, sorry. Again, this is not the stream for uh for high level play. To be honest, the uh, the idea of trying to beat this on one credit scares me. I, I would I would not. It sounds like the most the most frustrating thing on earth, so you know what, I'm good. We will, however, get to the end. Mom's given us an entire bag of quarters. Come and get him, brain. <laughs> There's the Uncle Phil laugh, you love to hear it. Oh, there's um, a reference to the company that made the ooze that turned the turtles into the turtles. And every other mutant in the entire series, of which there are many. Some cynically designed to sell toys. <laughs> Although, to be fair, um, in a Discord I am in, someone was... Uh, I, I was talking about the turtles... The, the cartoon and there, there was quite a lot of fourth wall breaking um, you know there, there was a, a little bit of self-awareness yep there's the TCRI logo now personally uh, my favorite turtles thing is the 1990 movie that's uh, that's where I live I think it's the best turtles thing that has ever been made But in terms of uh, video games, I, you know, I should have done this at the start of the stream, but we're in we're in one of the, the more boring levels, so we'll... Uh... Oh, we nearly got run over. Cool. <laughs> um, I was meant to explain my history with uh, Turtles games. So, uh, I played... I played the ZX... Back in the day, I had the ZX Spectrum port of the NES game, uh, plus the uh, ZX Spectrum port of the arcade game, Needless to say, neither are particularly great. If that, if that, that should not come as a surprise. Um, uh, then, then we we just kind of rented them. We rented uh, Hyperstone Heist on the Mega Drive, and the Mega Drive version of Tournament Fighters, which you know is generally not very well liked for reasons we will find out eventually. Yes. Oh. Oh, the, yeah, the NES game is on the ZX Spectrum. It's beautiful. Half the screen is taken up with a status bar. <laughs> Please look it up. Keep the tide. Anyway, it's a, it's our favorite uh, it's our favorite mutants. Uh, if you survive up to this point on one life, they have like a shit ton of health. It makes it way more difficult to deal with them. Oh, do, are th oh, they're not doing the thing. Come on, do the thing, guys. Yeah, it, it does kind of do a decent job with colours at least, but it's uh, you know, it's, it's exactly what you think it is. It's the ZX Spectrum. The I think the arcade port is like one that just uses like a single colour for almost everything, so it's impossible to pass what's going on. Needless to say, no home computer ports in this collection. I mean, would you want to have to write an Amstrad CPC emulator? Would you want that on your uh, on your resume? I don't, I don't think you really would. Okay, that's one down. P 
thank you, Rocksteady. And there's the party van, available at all local toy stores. So, um, I believe uh, she kisses whoever hit the uh, bosses the most if you're playing in multiplayer. So there's kind of a little bragging rights going on. I really hope that Switch version of Tro Trouble Witches Neo has the voice acting. I really do. Because it's, it's a lost treasure. Uh, I can't remember if he gets the invincibility in the second round. I would imagine he does, but he generally has less health in that encounter. So, you know, that's something. Um, regarding Osman, because um, it's in in games, I'm guessing it's Ratalika making the port. I hope they don't screw it up, because uh, I've heard bad things about some of their other ports. Which is a shame, because their, their work on Clockwork Aquaria was great. These Roadkill Rodneys are the worst. I hate fighting them in every single Turtles game. <laughs> that's a that's a good way to describe that dub. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I mean, uh, Hyper Street Fighter 2 on PS2 does come with a bonus. It does come with a cut version of the animated film. So there's that. Which has Brian Brian Cranston as uh, Fei Long, so you know that's that's a uh, if that that's a selling point. Plus, you get a CPS one version of the entire Super Street Fighter Two Turbo soundtrack, which you don't get in other versions. <laughs> yes, he's a troublemaker, that Fei Long. I'm really, <laughs> as you can see, I'm not, I'm not great at this game. I've tried to learn bits and pieces of it. Uh, I suppose now we, we, we'd better sort of tackle this. I kind of don't like a lot of the Konami brawlers. Uh, um, partly because a lot of the time when I see them, I can't play them because they're at retro events and someone's, people are hogging the cabinet and I can't play them and I'm not bitter. <laughs> I'm not mad, said the incredibly mad person. But the other thing is, like, you just compare this to what Capcom would put out, like, just a couple, a month or so later, and it's just, it just feels very loose and floaty and sloppy, and there's a lot of mean tricks to part you from your money. And I think that's something that got worse with some of them. X-Men in particular, uh, I really do not enjoy. But, whoa, what was that? <laughs> Donnie nearly returning to his home planet. Oh yes, Metamorphic Force is feels very different. Um, their non-licensed brawlers were probably the better, the better ones. Uh, I do have a soft spot for The Simpsons. I think that's... If you're going to pick one from their licensed games, that's probably like the one to go for. Uh, the Japanese ROM specifically. But like, stuff like this just feels like it's designed to catch uh, little kids out to just take their money. Because if you kill all the helicopters here and the, um, and the foot members, blue helicopters show up that drop screen, almost like screen filling bombs and it's just absurd. It's like really over the top. They didn't need to do it.
but as is my understanding this area basically works on a timer so you just need to kind of lame it out for a while like this Oh yeah, um, oh, I don't know if, uh, I can't remember if Arcade Club has, um, has Simpsons. I, I've, I've still got the Xbox Live version. <laughs> I managed to pick that up before it disappeared. So, well, I think we should be safe now so we can just finish these guys off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so after a certain amount of time, once you clear the screen, uh, the stage ends. Hang on, God. <laughs> uh, we really shouldn't have let Mikey drive. <laughs> anyway, Splinter's kidnapped now. We'd better go save him. We gotta save Splinter. I agree. Ow. 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 <laughs> But yeah, as far as uh, Konami Brawlers go, Vendetta, Violent Storm, Metamorphic Force, those and Simpsons, those are the ones that I really enjoy. Uh, I don't, I don't especially like this one, and I really don't like X Men. Because because they they just feel like they were more than any any arcade game that people accuse of. Uh, they feel like they were just designed to make money, which they did. Because this game was basically inescapable. But Vendetta, Violent Storm, those ones. <laughs> oh, brute force is. Uh... Brute Force is particularly infamous. It is uh, that's that's the one where you die by uh, hitting a um, hitting a uh, what what are they called? Uh, uh, a a fire hydrant. Yeah, you punch the fire hydrant and you die instantly. I mean. If Revolution X and uh, Terminator 2 can be defeated, maybe there is hope for a Brute Force 1 CC. And it's got whatever these are. It's kind of a similar section to this in, in X-Men, but it's just wasps instead, which is probably worse. Um, but, but what I find most interesting about the, the Turtles brawlers in particular is, especially with Turtles in Time, they basically fix them for the, for the home release. I have my own theory about turtle, arcade turtles in time being rushed, which we, we'll get to that when we when we cover turtles in time on this collection. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd rather take the the laser drones to be honest. Not taking my chances with those wasps. But one thing that Konami absolutely got right with this game was the presentation, because it's it looks, feels, and sounds exactly like the cartoon. It's, I don't know how they did it on their first try. Oh, yeah, I better insert coins. Probably gonna need a lot more than that. We'll do our best, though. As far as the emulation goes, this is, like, pretty fine. I, 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 don't, I haven't noticed anything particularly egregious, except maybe some of the sound balance. It seems a little off. Crash the turtles. This is a uh, Granitor, I believe. 
He has a flamethrower. Can, can we get him in a loop? Oh no, he's got us in a loop. I still don't understand. Oh, there is a tactic to this guy, but I've absolutely no idea what it is. The flamethrower is uh, pretty good. Well, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think I think you have to kind of do this kind of business with him. Yeah, that's right. You hit him and you run away a lot, but you want, you you sort of abuse the the the, the vertical vertical movement. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. All I needed to do was just, just think like a turtle. That's what I needed to do. I understand now. Oh, yeah, this is... <laughs> Immediately, once I start feeling confident, that's when he's gonna fuck me up. I was hoping that would be a double KO. I was hoping... Never mind. There we go. That wasn't so bad. And now he's just rocks. <laughs> that's, that's a great animation on Splinter. Thank you, my turtles. Thank you, my turtles. And there's the Technodrome. Place it's now available at your local toy store. No, 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 turtles. We, we, we found the Technodrome. We, we, we we're already there. <laughs> Maybe they don't realise this is the Technodrome. Uh, fans of the Snares Turtles in Time will recognise this stage because uh, a lot of elements were were reused for it. No, please leave me alone. <laughs> okay, now can I get past the ice section without getting frozen? That's 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 our personal challenge. There was there was an achievement in that for the Xbox Live version, which took me way more attempts than I'm willing to admit to actually get. Whoop. It starts here. <laughs> okay, no, no, that doesn't count. <laughs> okay, no, it totally does. No, I, I used to be able to do this. <laughs> yeah, no, that's about that's about what I expected. That's fine. <laughs> and now they reuse the the big bowling balls from April's apartment. And we're, we're closing in on the end. I think. Ah, no, please, sir. Thank you. <laughs> it did need a double ice backfire, that's right. Le leave me alone, I'm too short to reach the control panel. I am but a small child from the 90s playing this game. Oh no, that's right, we've got um, General Trag before we get to uh, Krang. 
By the way, that door can hit you. <laughs> so, you know, I think, yeah, I think this guy uses the same AI as uh, Granitor, so we can just... When he lets us, we can we can just do this. Hey, at least there's one boss I've figured out. He cannot handle my advanced tactics. Another another Konami staple that this game canonized from uh, from Crime Fighters is no boss uh, health, no boss health is ever displayed. It's usually just a case of you just you just kind of got to guess. They did break that for Vendetta at least. That's why Vendetta is the best. But I suspect it was a it was an entirely cynical ploy to get people to keep coining up because oh the boss is nearly dead. You, you don't know how close they are to death. Oh, we got, we got him in a pattern. Yes. Feels good. No, no, don't, don't take this away from... No! Incidentally, the laser bars, when they're active, they can also hurt you. And here we go. Final area. He's invincible. I don't know how to deal with Krang. Just, just no idea. It's, it feels like you should have enough time to just get away, but you, you kind of don't, because... Oh, wait, hang on. Is this the strap? Is this the tech? Have we figured it out? No, probably not. Now just imagine, if you reach this area on one credit, he'll have like 10 times as much health. But I was getting him in a pattern there, and that felt good. Of course, there's no way to play as multiple turtles, so one player has to be Donatello, and everyone else just has to make do. <laughs> Somebody's got to play as Ralph. Raph. Ralph. They should. They should give Raph Ralph's uh, Galactica Phantom. There's my. Uh, there's my advice for the next turtles game. Feel free to use that Konami. You're welcome. Ooh, nearly. I just need one more coin. Oh! God! <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle session went well. Of course, here's a uh, shredder, tin head, chrome dome, all the other insulting names that they had for him on the show. Uncle Phil, and now we're a turtle. So that one's the no. Uh, what you have to do is you have to knock his mass. He's one of these is a clone that will die a lot quicker, and you can tell because his mask falls off. Once the once the mask has fallen off, he can't do he can't cast his spell, so we need to keep that clone alive while we chip away at the other one. The shredder significantly more threatening in the games than the show. He's actually a, a, a real threat. Yeah, it is the Truxton laser, isn't it? 
Shredder's just secretly working with uh, Toa Plan. But now we don't know which one's the clone anymore. Sucks for us. Oh, okay, well, that that did give us the invincibility we needed, so... Can we finish this on the, the four lives we've got left? Probably not. It is Uncle Phil. Listen, just you wait. At some point in this fight, he's going to break out Lucille. Okay, now that one's the clone. Can we... No, no, I thought we might be able to... Well, we got the we got the original one's head off. That's uh, that's something. Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> Mean, mean Bean Machine Mode Robotnik is more threatening. Okay, we got him. We'll take it. Now we're out of there. Very satisfying explosion. Epilogue. Freaked at the foots, mangled the Mausers, and totaled the Technodrome. That's... Turtle power. But what about the Shredder and Krang? Burned to toast? Vaporized to milkshake? Or escaped to Dimension X? Spelled wrong. Until we know, none of us can sleep safely in our beds. Uh, shells. That's uh, T U R T L E power. Thanks. That was uh, that was nowhere near a 1cc, but, you know, it's nice to just play through the game sometimes. You know, Grounder and Scratch and Grounder toys would make a lot of money, I'm just saying. People would absolutely buy those. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just catching up. I hate that turtle. <laughs> Thank you. That's very good. Yeah, yeah. It's a moral. It's a it's a it's a moral one, CC. We didn't we didn't give up. <laughs> Not that this is like the longest game. However, we do have a legitimate challenge coming up because uh, I've never played the NES version of this. I've absolutely no idea what I'm in for. Only second? What the hell? I, I didn't grind enough on the uh, on the Mausers or uh, projectiles or whatever, I guess. I've still got to beat Hid. He had 10 points ahead of me. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I think it's uh one thing I do know is it does fix the uh con it's supposed to fix the controls in Arkanoid, which is very welcome because those controls are a bit off. What? Uh, no, that that update won't be adding new games, I don't think. Uh that they are they they I seem to remember they're going to add new games to the Egret 2 Mini, but not, not just yet. Yeah. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be on an SD card, just like the, the Arkanoid, uh, the Ball and Paddle 
trackball and paddle stuff. Anyway, that's uh, that's the original arcade game. Just, just, uh, ju just to show off quickly. Just, just to demonstrate something. So you also get a level select, which is nice. Oh, oh no, we're breaking the law. Notice the uh, copyright date's changed as well. Ooh, a new, a new Taito Ego to mini stream. Interesting. So they had the, uh, they had the little. Subtitle there. Where's the... Hang on, what the... How do I... Oh, okay, there we go. Weird. So, okay, this starts us here, and I wanted to... Oh, I've got, I got to reset all my controls. So, first off, this is showing how many enemies show up in nightmare mode. You know, kind of, kind of an issue. What I wanted to show is, uh, let's get this, oh no, did I kill, the... no, 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 I'm good. First off, way too many enemies, don't like it. Secondly, in the Japanese version, projectiles don't add to your score. Come on. And now is now I'm not gonna get the chance to actually. Uh, you know what? Okay. What I need to do is I need to quit. I think Times Square is where they show up. We just need to, we need we just need a boomerang enemy to appear. Yeah, that is a lot of dudes, isn't it? Nope. No. 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 Scene two. Oh, look at all these dudes! So yeah, this is the game at maximum rank. Also, I noticed the game is still in English. They don't bother with any Japanese subtitles or anything. So if we clear if we clear these out. We should be able to demonstrate this now. So come on, throw a boomerang, please. <laughs> this is ideal. Ah, no. Too close. Okay, come on. Yep, notice that my score doesn't go up. You, you can't you can't just do this all day to get maximum points. There we go. Point demonstrated. Let's get. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, oh, I don't like this situation. Let's get out. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what I was doing, I was just demonstrating nightmare mode. Um, which uh, forces the game at maximum rank. Uh, as far as I'm aware, the only difference between the Japanese and English versions of the first Turtles game is um, they uh, they don't um, they don't let you uh, destroy projectiles for score. Turtle calls it quits. There we go. Okay, that's good. So uh, let's see. So it goes through the NES games. The, the SNES games, the Mega Drive games, and then we get to the uh, NES games. Notice the uh, the first game isn't called Ninja Turtles in Japan. It's Legend of the Extreme Ninja Turtles because I don't think they they'd localized the series just yet. But by the second game, they decided, yeah, we'll just we'll just call it that. You get quite a few enhancements here. Actually, you can select your starting level. You can remove the slowdown and the sprite flicker. We've uh, we've switched their sprite flicker off. 
You can uh, move through the menus with directional inputs instead of using the select button. You've got a god mode again. You've got extra lives. And uh, this is an interesting one, fancy jump kicks. So, as is my understanding in the... Um, in the Japanese version of this, uh, they altered the jump kicks so that you can do them while you're rising from a jump instead of just when you're descending. And if you switch this on, you can have that behavior active in the, uh, in the English version as well. Yeah, fancy. <laughs> um, so... Hmm. Now... I've never played this before. I tested it briefly just to make sure I knew what I was doing. Do we switch in extra lives on or off? Because I know you only get uh, three continues, I think. So I don't know whether that would be enough to get us through the game. Although, hang on, I've got, I've got to change some things here first. Uh, here's the nope. Here's the box art. Oh wait, shit! There was something really important I had to show. Yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll keep the extra lives on. To, to emphasize how big a deal um, the Turtles arcade game was. This is a flyer for Mercs from Capcom. Nope, that's not it. There it is. <laughs> That's how big a deal Turtles was. Capcom was like, fuck it, we're going to murder these amphibians. <laughs> that is making a bold statement. <laughs> Joe Gibson is about to murder some turtles. <laughs> it's really good. I like it. Turtle killer. Do you have it in you to be a turtle killer? Okay, uh, let's get this started then. So we're going to play the US version. See, I'm using up and down to select, not the select button. No, no, not yet. Distributed by Ultra Games. Oh, that's a good point. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been good on that. that thanks. Uh oh, the flyer is the flyer killed the flyer achieved it achieved its objective. Okay, so uh elephant in the room, there's no Pizza Hut logos. We're gonna play as uh Raph. No particular reason. So they've still got the intro. This you know, considering this is a NES game, this looks pretty solid. There's some obvious compromises, though. First off, a lot has changed. Uh, action's a lot slower. I think, like, the in general, the stages are longer. I guess I wanted to give you more value. Quote-unquote value. Um... You have, uh, you've got your, you've still got your jump kicks. The special move isn't, uh, isn't frame perfect now, but it's a little weird. You have to kind of, uh, press, press jump, then attack in very quick succession. Kind of like you're plinking them in a, in a fighting game. You can also delay it very slightly. But not by much. I picked, uh... Raph here because A, I didn't want to play as Donatello again and B, it feels like they don't, uh, Donatello doesn't have the reach advantage anymore to to make the game fit on this cartridge I assume they basically gave the turtles the same sprite but recolored it and uh, changed their weapon so they don't have the unique stances anymore a, a necessary compromise but Oh, 
also, oh no, no, it, it still does the kind of random attacks when you press the attack button. Yes, uh, that's that's why it was distributed by Ultra to get rid of to get past the uh to get past that pesky uh licensing agreement. Nintendo must have known, right? They must have known. Uh, the Japanese version does make uh, one other adjustment. Um, it makes your flying, it makes the jump kick as powerful as your special attack, which is very powerful indeed. That that sounds like it makes the game significantly easier. Good rendition of the music, though, I will say. Konami obviously didn't farm this port out to anyone, they pretty sure it's internal Konami. Getting the job done. There's way more enemies in this original this uh this first stage. We've already killed 52. 54? I kind of don't want to do the normal combo at all, ever. You just, you just want to do the, the special attack. Oh, don't worry, Roadkill Rodney's still around. Can't get rid of this guy. Now oh, we've had our first death already. That, that bodes well. Escape from my corner trap, coward. April looking a bit less like the mooches the scream. He no longer tells us to say our prayers, alas. The nice big strikes in this version as well. is invincible. Putting the putting the number of lives up was the was the correct course of action. Please let me No just just let me win. Okay. We'll take it. And they even still have the cutscenes. That's that's nice. Scene two after that shredder creep. Ouch. Oh, of course they have the answer. They're pretty good at anti-airing you, actually. Uh, seems to be a subtle hint not to use the jump kick too much. Actually, wait. Before we continue, let's uh, let's take a look. At let's see what the strategy guide has for us. So this was uh, this came out like late 1990. Unfortunately, all it has for us is uh, cheat codes. Truly the meat lover's pizza of codes. <laughs> these are cute. I like these little uh, doodles as well. Slinter Steaks.
Also, Raf's rants. I hate these guys. I don't have a tip here. I just needed to vent. There we go. We've learned something, maybe, probably. And there's the... Oh, yeah, they still got the TV. Ha, ha, ha. No, no, no space to talk about turtle soup. That's fine. This version is a... I will say the scrolling's a bit slow. <laughs> it's doing its best, bless it. But at this point in time, you the best you could hope for was like an approximation of the arcade game. Ca trying to capture the spirit of the arcade game may have been more important than, you know, the the, the the specifics. Sometimes that's just how it be. And it should be pizza time. Oh yeah, just a single slice, that'll do. Oh no! Got her! Okay! <laughs> Hold on, let's see. Did, did that give us a point? Yes, it does! Oh no, we need to... Yeah, you, you score a point for hitting her. That's, that's, that's mean. You shouldn't do that. Oh dear! Ooh, the, the flicker ain't great scrolling down, but... Ooh, it's juddering, bless it. I guess it's just the it's sort of diagonally scrolling is, is what's going on here. Yeah, oh, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it at all. Uh, the billboards. Oh, no. No, they're just two separate billboards. I think though those were Pizza Hut signs, right? They had to be Pizza Hut signs. I have seen people refuse to buy this collection because it doesn't come with a Pizza Hut coupon and, you know, the, all the Pizza Hut stuff is removed. Unsure if they're joking or not. <laughs> I've seen people refuse to buy retro releases for weirder reasons. Who put, a, who, who put the lights out? Okay, that's still there. That's a good... They, they knew what, what the important things to keep were, clearly. Is it is it the Shredder's Revenge limited edition that actually comes with a coupon? Or am I thinking of something else? Oh, you knocked me right in the sewer. I, ca I cannot use my... Oh, maybe I can. Nope. No, if he goes for the charge, he just can't do it. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, on the one hand, I like completely understand why the home computer games aren't versions aren't here, because you know, they they are for a niche audience, and also they'd have to write a completely separate emulator for each one, and you know. Who who amongst us can can live with themselves if they write a CPC emulator? Takes a stronger will than mine. That, that said, there is one game missing here that I wish they'd put in. Uh, there was a DOS exclusive Turtles game called The Manhattan Missions.
I, I'm pretty sure this uh, this trick isn't gonna work. <laughs> no, probably not. Oh, but it's cute that they've got like a like a separate sprite for being in the water. That's 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 a nice little touch. And yeah, I can absolutely imagine that argument. I can see it now. My personal perspective is, I want I want the collections to do a better job. You know what I mean? Like, I want them to. I like supporting original releases, and if they do stuff that you know Mame can't necessarily do, then you know that's even better. I like the arcade archives releases because you know it's a legit way to play some of these games. <laughs> yeah, how do you have a main full set on your phone? <laughs> that guy can't have all the CHDs, right? <laughs> Although speaking of Mame, um. Until today, the Arcade Archives version of Wonder Momo was better than MAME because it had uh, it had eight-way joystick support where the MAME version did not. Uh, I actually flagged that up as a as a glitch because I noted uh, as a emulation error with MAME because uh, I noticed it and it was driving me nuts. And uh, the latest MAME does actually fix that, so. Uh, I didn't fix it myself, but you know, you're welcome. <laughs> ah, I didn't do anything, I just flagged it up. It does make the game a little easier to play though. I, I just started looking into it. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm gonna make a bunch of save states for, for Wonder Momo so I can practice and know what I'm doing. And then, wait, how come I can't turn and crouch? <laughs> Uh, there's there's so many arcade games I don't want to think about playing on a mobile phone. Ugh. Has he got Hyper Neo Geo running on that thing? <laughs> okay, I'm starting to get into this port a little now. It certainly seems a lot fairer than the arcade game, except maybe the bosses. Yeah, it's it's it, it doesn't. Like it's not like a huge change, but it's a nice little, it's a nice little touch. Effort went in. Now what I am looking forward to the, to on this collection is I've never played uh, the Manhattan Project because uh, that was not released in Europe at all. So I'm very curious about that one. Oh, can we just? Can we, can we just mash the mouses like this? Is that an option? I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the true test of, of an emulator. If you can't play Jackie Chan in Fists of Fire properly, what's the point? Yeah, that's that's generally my my perspective, and that's why I tend to be hypercritical of uh, like I will point out problems with with game collections if I spot them because you know I, I want them to be good. I want them to be worth you know the money. Also. Forgive me, it was probably Kak who suggested a New Zealand story collection with all the home computer ports. I mean, yeah, it means I don't have to set up 15 different emulators, I'll take it. If someone else does that work for me, that's that's fine with me. <laughs> I had to resort to like using online emulators at one point for the New Zealand story stuff, because there was just... It was horrible. There were so many emulators that I just could not get working. And this should be the Baxter Stockman fight. There he is. He's uh, putting up much less resistance this time. This is uh, a little easier. I spoke too soon.
Okay, nearly done. I think, who knows, no life meter to go off. We have killed over 200 enemies and we're barely into stage 3 though. I believe the manual specifically references the amount of enemies in the game. So I look forward to that. Oh yes, there is a manual section, we'll be reading those later. Okay, I can't remember if it was Flash or Macromedia, um, you know, whatever the other one was. Uh, one of my favourite online games early on was a reproduction of the Neo Geo League Bowling. I bet someone in chat remembers playing that. Okay, that's uh, back to Stockman dealt with. We'll be seeing him again later, maybe. Oh, there he is already. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. He, uh, he mutated into the bundle fly pretty quickly. Let's melt snow and rebuild New York City. So this is one of two exclusive stages for this version. Oh, oh dear. So, I have absolutely no idea what is ahead of me. I believe the bosses made for these stages are like exclusive to this game, they're like not from the comics or anything. Yes, um, one one feature in particular that I'm really impressed that they added. Uh, Mega Drive Tournament Fighters has three boss characters that normally you can't select under any... You know, like, there's no code to pick them, I don't think. Oh, who put the lights out? Uh, I missed that manual cover. Uh, this, this collection adds them as playable for the first time. Uh, that's Krang, a Triceraton, and Karai. I do have some nitpicks though, uh, we'll get to them on a game by game basis, uh, but generally I'm pretty happy with this. It's also like a collection no one ever thought would happen because, you know, licensing is a hellscape. So I'm glad that there were... I'm glad they were able to work things out and, you know, make it make it happen. Oh yeah, the other one is uh, NES Tournament Fighters has a... lets you pick Hothead in mirror matches, which normally wasn't possible because he was, um, he was too big a boy. He'd caused too much strike flicker. I am still an, a bit annoyed that there's no dip switches for the arcade games. I am hoping they put a patch in. That would be nice. Oh, snowmobile. I've not put much time into NES Tournament Fighters, but it's... It looks technically very impressive. I'm amazed it works on the system. Not, not known for fighting games outside of bootlegs, that one. <laughs> it's true competition was World Heroes 2. <laughs> and uh, Mortal Kombat 32 Special Peoples. Yeah. <laughs> Games like Kart Fighter, they, they forged their own path. That is, you see, it, it does have Leo in it. That's uh, that's a point of comparison. Oh, ow. Ah, no, please. Ow. 
Uh, okay. Four lives. Uh, does anyone know if you restart stages when you continue in this? Asking for a friend. What the? What is this? What is this? Mysterious object. Oh, hi. What? <laughs> Hello. This, uh... Hi there. How you doing, Mr. Rat? Is this a rat? I'm pretty sure this is. Uh, if anyone wants to claim this guy as their fursona, you are welcome. They're free, free to use, probably. I don't, th I don't think, uh, I don't think Nickelodeon don't mind. I see. Okay, you just want to get away from him when he when he starts to throw his uh, snowball. I believe in the instruction manual, uh, these guys are explained as uh, the two new bosses are like bounty hunters. Ah, okay. We're learning. We're gaining data. Can we get- no, we can't really get away with hitting him twice. We just need to get him at sort of a shallow angle. Ah. Okay, nice. But what's- what's- what's with the ball? Oh, okay. Oh, it's- Oh, that's cool. <laughs> String is here. Good, good for you, Raph. Good for you. And now we're now we're back on back in the arcade game. That was a nice little uh, nice little side tour. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? That's canon now. I guess. I didn't think Rimuru would be so cool but rude, but here we are. Then again, there is that, uh, I think it's a Sailor Moon fighting game hack that adds Wrath for some reason. Not a complaint, merely an observation. No, that car. Was, I thought that car was about to pull out on me. I was like, no, the the arcade game has trained me for this. I think you can only hit this side from this side, maybe. Oh, you, oh no. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's it's actually the Ninja Turtles' fault. Look, that car's a different colour. I know it's going to pull out on me. It is a little tricky to do the special attack in this because you, you kind of have to have to piano the the buttons. I hope there's a pizza soon. I'm now paranoid. I'm waiting for which car is going to pull out on me. One of you is going to do it. Aha, there it is. Right. Oh my god! <laughs> Great animation. I know why, I know why. It's too big a sprite to move properly. It's still funny.
D did you not see the car zoom? He just he just went zip. I thought it was only the blue cars that did it. They got me. You played me. I got played. Also, wow, this, this stage is kind of going on for a while, isn't it? Must be near the end now, right? Ah, is this it? Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing different background elements. That's a good sign. Ah, pizza. I'll take it. So, the uh, Bebop and Rocksteady uh, combo fight is replaced in this version with a fight with Baxter Stockman. Wait, how come he's got a fly swatter? Shouldn't we have one? That's funny. Ooh, can we, can we hit him from the ground? Like this? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Hitboxes are mysterious. I would ideally l like to not die in this fight, just so I've got enough lives for the next stage. Whoop. We, we have the pattern. We figured it out. Almost. Oh, there we go. Oh, she waving. Do we get the cutscene? Oh, okay. They gave they gave April a walking strike this time. Oh, bless. That's sweet. Let's get to that secret factory. I'm guessing the second extra stage is after the after we save Splinter. Also, we've killed three hundred and ow, three hundred and fifty-eight enemies, and the count just keeps going. One thing I do appreciate about this version, the uh, there's always the title logo in the corner if you're just playing by yourself. Reminds me of home computer games. Ah. I'm looking forward to getting run over again. I'm sure that'll happen. It wouldn't surprise me if it was in a... 
Yeah, uh, if it was in like a like a Rockman hack of some kind. And yeah, uh, especially in home computer games, you know, they couldn't render a, a full screen of action, so they have to they have to put something there. And a game logo is usually a good bet. Or a gigantic status screen showing your character slowly turning into a skeleton. <laughs> Surprisingly popular you, uh, way to display health that for some reason. A giant picture of Spider-Man, yep, slowly turning into a skelly, skelly man. One of my favourites is, uh, I think it's the Amiga version of Batman, the movie, where as your health decreases, the big picture of Batman slowly turns into the Joker. <laughs> Perhaps an early, uh, an early example of Jokerfication. <laughs> Oh, shit, we got an extend at some point. Okay, I'll take that. Now, I'm curious how they're going to handle the highway stage. Uh, that, has a, that had a lot of big sprites moving around. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Again, I never had an Amiga, but I, you know, I'd seen that, uh... I'd seen that health cage, it's pretty funny. Okay, they're, they're, they've got a pretty decently big sprite here. Okay, interesting. Oh, and these ones do, these ones drop bombs. Okay. So, I, d I don't think this version is based on a timer. I think we just have to defeat every enemy. And the explosions aren't nearly as big as they are in the arcade, so this is uh, this is a bit more civilized. Except when they drop four bombs at once, that's not cool. Although the Batman game I remember from my uh, youth was uh, Batman the Caped Crusader on the ZX Spectrum, which had an approach you never really saw. Um, basically, it treated each screen of the game like a comic panel. So when you'd move between scenes, a new panel would appear. I always thought that was a very clever way of doing things. The game itself is, you know, a, a kind of adventure game with uh, the typical moon logic, but it's, it's, that, that's an interesting one. Maybe, is it when you get behind it, it launches the, the four bombs? Mystery. Okay, I'll take that trade. That seems fair to me. Okay, so they they, they did shorten that section. Are we going to crash in the party van? Oh. oh, there we go. Let us in. <laughs> oh, great cutscene. Good. Let's bust this joint. There's Splinter. Yeah, the presentation is great. And I think I seem to remember it had like two adventures, like one on each side of the tape. That that's a distinct game from the isometric Batman game, which was uh which is more in line with uh head over heels, that sort of thing. Raph just goes ding. <laughs> he sure does.
Are they just gonna... No? Okay. I've caught them in a pattern. Yeah, that's right. One was, uh, one was Joker and one was Penguin. Uh, there may be a bat in my belfry at the moment as uh, my uh, I watched uh, I rewatched Batman 1989 recently. Good film. No notes. Anyway, I think that yeah that launches laser, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna dip out of that. I was worrying this was gonna. Uh, live out its welcome but I think it's it's doing a fairly decent job it's a pretty it, it feels fixed in enough areas that I'm less frustrated with it than than I get with the arcade game although I am cheating slightly with you know the extra lives that's that's fine right no one will mind will they Wow, we've been streaming. I, 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 I fear this this stream may be like way shorter than normal, but uh, no, we're we're already at two hours. We will we will see the end of the turtles. Ah, no, please, please no. Uh, now I understand why Raft didn't like these things. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's bring up the strategy guide. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I hate these guys. Raph was right. Okay, continue. That's over 500 deaths now. There's not going to be much left of New York City when we're done. Oh, this is the... Uh, I thought we were at the end. No, it's just these weird things. Only four of them this time. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want you to be a New York... Uh, a New York uh, ninja. I I'm sure... I'm sure they'll use the arcade from the film to, to get people to join. That seemed, that seemed like a pretty effective marketing strategy. Before this series of streams is over, we will see at least one character exclusive to the films. But uh, that might be next stream. Although uh, technically they're not real people, they're just robots. That's why we can. Uh, that's why we can kill them. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we we can blow them up, do whatever. It's it's fine. Although if Shredder's Revenge is anything to go by, a lot of these foot robots have honest jobs. They're, they're just they're just trying to pay the bills. We're just gonna we're just gonna walk by. So this should be Granitor again. There he is. Hello. I'm not sure, I'm not sure my original, t ooh, actually maybe it will, <gasps> yes, no, <laughs> immediately denied, okay, I see how it is. Uh, it looks like I can kind of get away with it, I can get three hits in, 
And then I have to walk away. I see. Again, I haven't seen this game before. We are, we are making up these strategies as we go along. That's the gaming hell way. <laughs> He's not even in flashing health yet. He does still have that flamethrower though. Yeah, I think it's time we, we switch tactics. Ah, he got us. Uh, ooh, that is a good question. Um, the Hero Turtles name change ended, um, I think that, I seem to remember the first film was released under the Ninja title, but it, but it properly came to an end for the 2003 TV series. Until then, every single, every video game that was Every Turtles game that was released in Europe had the uh, had the hero title. <laughs> we we did eventually, or rather, the one guy at the BBFC who didn't like ninjas or nunchucks uh, left. So. Oh, and he's just he's just stunned now. You know what? I'll pop it in chat again just in case anyone missed it. Thank you, my turtles. There we go. Let's defeat the enemy's ninja magic magic. Okay, I see. I see. I understand. Hopefully we can get this done on our first try. Yes, uh, that uh, at the same time we got uncut versions of Enter the Dragon and Ninja Turtles, the the film. Can we can we interact with these? No, I guess not. Oh dear, these, these guys take a lot more damage. But it's okay, they're still robots as well. This is a good bop, I will say. Yeah, around that, around that time sounds about right, but uh, there weren't any particularly notable Turtles projects going on. Um, ooh, that's a good point. Uh, if someone could check whether uh, the next mutation came out as a Hero Turtles thing or not. I don't think it did. That was the live action one. Uh, messing up the timing for the, for the special attack. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, I wasn't sure. Um, I only ever saw like adverts for that one. I never actually watched it myself. That's 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 good data, thank you. So okay, yeah, it would have been it would have been around the two thousands that the ninja stuff would have would have been fine. And then they uh and then the two thousand and three T V series is where they they officially changed the name. So there we go, there's your answer. Who put the lights out? I'm I'm worried about our chances. We may have to restart this stage. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how they whether zero cancels a life or not. That's that's what this hinges on.
but once we do clear this, I think it's just the Technodrome that's left. We don't get to call this a 1cc, though we have absolutely cheated. At least they're giving us plenty of enemies, I can get that extend. You can't do that. What the? <laughs> oh no, this is this is worse than the flames in the industrial area in Final Fight. Oh my god. Tiger. Tiger is here. Oh no! I was joking! <laughs> oh no, there's a real tiger! Oh my god! I don't want to do this. I'm scared. How do I deal with this? The help. Oh, we just have to we just have to hit him in the face, I see. Yeah, this this does have uh, Street Fighter 2 bootleg energy, doesn't it? Attacks don't work, but that's what I've been doing this entire game. The true, the true Ninja Turtle starts here. Come on, I'm so close to an extend as well. This, this hurts. If the other lion comes alive, if the other tiger comes alive as well, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, extra life, let's go. God, come on. <laughs> this seems a little excessive. This also does not put me in good, in good shape for the boss. Yeah, we 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 kind of we we got an extend, but at what cost? Can I do a jump kick? No, you can't do a jump kick on it. Understood. Aha! Seems we need to attack more aggressively. I understand. I see. This seems, it seems a little at odds with the rest of the game. I hope they don't do this again. Okay. They, they wouldn't do it a third time, would they? They, they wouldn't do it. What? Excuse me. What are these? Oh, no. Did they just decide to put all the worst enemies in this new stage? Wow. This 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 kind of sucks. <laughs> oh no, don't don't bring in more of them. I'm gonna have a hard enough time beating this stage as it is. Well, I can corner trap them at least. That's something. Pretty sure they make you restart an area, so we're gonna have to go back quite a while. Not, not convinced this was the best thing to add to your video game. I was, I was really enjoying this up until this point. Hmm. Don't know about this.
and it feels like this stage is just going to keep going for a while. <laughs> yeah, we, we need you to lose a couple of lives right now. We're not in an arcade, but we're going to make it happen anyway. The <laughs> yeah, yeah, the anti-rental tech. There's some pizza at least. Oh, I should have waited. Never mind. You, uh, you, I was on board with you, TMNT2, the arcade game. You have to ruin it. Well, let's hope we can... Oh, hello. I see. Interesting. Uh, I believe the head is going off to uh, play um, it to to do, to be the, the protagonist of Zombie Zombie Nation. So okay, I have no idea how to deal with this guy. Please don't make me restart this stage. I'm begging. Got the uh, got the feeling I'm restarting the stage. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, no, this is fine. <laughs> Fortunately, we've got like we've got like nine lives, so we should be able to do this and the technodrome afterwards. We mu we 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 just have to apply the data that we've learned up to this point. Actually, I was, I was, I was just thinking, is this, is this the one that was like, uh, like it was rated for a, a Wii Virtual Console release and it never happened? I seem to remember that being a thing. Can't believe they only give you one pizza in this entire stage. Did people do that back then? <laughs> Beat it in a day and then be like, oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's possible. Now this is where they come out the floor. To, you, to the yawning compilation. Yeah, this this stage kind of well, yeah. This uh, we had to restart the stage once we reached the uh, once we reached the boss. We died a horrible death, and we had to restart from from the beginning. So this is this is kind of mean. They could have split this up at least. Yeah, no, um, we, we, we restarted at one point, so... But this is still, like, absurdly long. Yes, uh, I did actually pick up the, uh... The, orig the first NES game before it got delisted. Uh, but, I, but I remember hearing that, like, the... The second game got rated, like like got the age rating done, but they did they never actually finished the job. I imagine the pizza the the the, the license was still maybe an issue. 
Maybe Pizza Hut. Maybe the music was still a problem. You know, I actually really liked the other original stage they added, but this this one kind of no. Oh yeah, that would that would, was that would that have been Sonic Origins? Because I can I can imagine Sonic experts blasting through those games pretty quickly, and you know deciding that set wasn't for them. I do not like this Tiger fight. I aggressively do not like it. Like, is there something I'm missing here? Is that? Forces, oh, okay. I don't know anything about forces, I have not played it. <laughs> yeah, no, I can totally, I can totally see that. Someone speedrun <laughs> a Resident Evil game. I, I have the utmost respect for people who can speedrun those games. Uh, they're, they're not... They, they require a lot of learning and a lot of improvisation. Well, the old ones do anyway. Yeah, it's... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, I remember people were excited that it was listed and uh, it just it just never appeared. Okay, that's the that's the tiger dealt with. Now scorpions. Poor Raph covered with scorpions. Oh, you can just do this to them, I see. Just get them in a corner. Got it. Can do. Preferably with one, without one directly behind me. That that might be the play. There we go. Oh no! Let me. Thank you. This is as close as we'll get it. That's fine. I, I have not sampled the crypt for myself. Uh, I do actually have Mortal Kombat 11, but I, I never, I never really got into it. Then again, uh, I liked Mortal Kombat 9, and I really did not like Injustice, so I never even tried Injustice 2. And Mortal Kombat X was fine, so maybe those games just aren't for me, that's fine. Okay, well good night JP Ronnie. Uh thanks for stopping by. Good night. Hopefully by the time you're awake, we'll, we'll actually be at the end of this level. <laughs> I'll still be streaming, I'll still be trapped here.
Okay, we're back. How do I deal with you? What do I do about the situation you are putting me in? I, s I say we mash and pray. There is clearly a way to deal with this guy, and I and I I don't got it. <laughs> we'll, we'll, ju we'll just throw a couple of lives at him, I guess. The, the, wh One of the things that really bugged me about the first injustice was just the fact that. Grayscale filter was so bad. Like, there's no life to, to any of it. Okay, you know what? I'll take that. We technically decapitated him. That seems on brand for the turtles. Oh my god, he's just a sca Oh god! <laughs> that was unnecessarily grim. Cool. Anyway, we found the technodrome. There it is! Oh, the scaling. Okay, we're, we're, we're back here now. I think we should be able to do this with five lives. That seems reasonable. I hope so, anyway. We're just gonna we're just gonna zoom past all this. We don't have to perceive it if we don't want to. Besides, we should get an extend anyway, so we we're, we're probably sitting pretty for lives. Hopefully, they give us a checkpoint before Krang and Treader. That would be helpful. Yeah, it's... Injustice kind of has that tone to it, which... There's some bits that feel a bit fun, but otherwise it's kind of very dour. Nope, you're not getting me this time. Nope, nope. Okay, this is, this is going way too well. Kind of surprised at the amount of enemies they tend to have on screen at once. So, you know, about three, three or four. That's that's pretty good for the Nairs, considering the size of these sprites. The, these little enemies are new. Yeah, they're, they're a little tough to see, aren't they? <laughs> uh, Colour design is my passion. There we go. Oh, those ones are really hard to see. Oof. Grey on grey. Pretty sure we still have to fight General Trag, so uh, stop it. No, there we go. Okay, four lives, that's fine. I still I still have hope. Well, we're about to get an extend anyway, hopefully. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, there we go. Five lives now. I'll take that. I, I am a fan of rest instead of, uh, you know, one-up. That's, I like that. Oh, there's another section of these. Okay. I see you. Okay, we're on the lift section. Oh, look at the scrolling. That's good. <laughs> oh, they're really pushing the poor Nez with this one, aren't they? Poor little thing. It's doing its best. Uh, slowly coming to a halt. I'm going to save that pizza for now. I get the feeling I'm going to need it. It's a shame it's just a slice and not the box. Oh, well. What the? Oh, he has the answer. Scroll the screen now. Oh, yeah, here he is. Good old road, roadkill Rodney. You can kind of get multiple hits on them with the special attack, which is nice. Yeah, uh, now, admittedly, I did switch the sprite flickering off, so there's probably there's probably a lot more flicker, but even so, this is still pretty impressive. I'm very curious to see uh, how the third game looks. Oh, come on. Super aggressive now. And there's a lot of them as well. God oh, damn. Okay. Oh, here we go. Not getting hit by that door. Nice try. Okay. Two hits. Nope. Not even one. jump kicks it is then. The jump, as I said, the jump kick's a lot more powerful in the Japanese version, so that would make things a lot easier. I'm very concerned that they're gonna make me restart the stage if I game over. That would kind of suck. Because I would like it if there's a checkpoint before Shredder. That would be lovely. <laughs> okay, no, the, the enemies think I've rented the game. I see, I see. They, they think, they, they do not think I've paid for this cartridge. I understand. That, that's a valid concern. See, I can get, I can get one, but I can't, I can't loop it. Because he, he, he whacks me on the back of the head. Maybe move up? <laughs> Rental detected! <laughs> oh dear, oh this is a disaster. 
He's nearly dead. No, why do you have to do that? Okay, okay, that's fine. He's he's a he's a little less menacing than he was in the arcade game, but that's fine. Oh, he's got he's got a a a a, 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 ro a mecha anime style rocket punch now. Cool. A lot of the bosses just can't be hit by the special attack. That's interesting. Uh, I'm, I guess to play this game better, I would. It seems like the big thing is the boss strategies, because I don't know what to do against a lot of them. I worked a few out. Ooh, ah, no. Please die, Krang. Please understand. I need to, I'm streaming this game, I need to finish it. So hello, um, Zobo seventy. Sorry, I, I couldn't quite read the uh, read the name there. Hello, uh, I'm near the end of this. Maybe maybe we can win. Who knows? The odds are looking uh, kind of grim at the moment, to be honest. Okay, he kicked me in the head. That's fine. Where is it going to make a start? Phew, okay. <laughs> oh boy. I was worried I'd have to do the whole thing again. I, w I would not have been happy. Okay, that's fine. We can deal with this. We can we can throw we can throw 10 rafts at this guy, right? You know, I'm surprised they put a checkpoint in as well. Mercy. I guess it's like just every every time the game transitions to, to another scene. Simply because uh, not every scene in the arcade game was like in the same location. So like the sewers are part of scene two. But when it transitions to a new screen, that counts as a checkpoint. So you know what? We'll, we'll take what we can get, quite frankly. Yes, a NES game thing, throwing, throwing a player a bone. Can you imagine? Battletoads wouldn't do this. <laughs> Please note, Battletoads is never showing up on this stream. I'm not letting it. <laughs> I watched uh, Koroni Inugami fight with that game for like two hours of a 12-hour stream. I ain't, I ain't touching that. No, thank you. Ooh, ooh, we got it. We got, we got a pan here.
<laughs> uh, Kak, if you had done that and you had been right, I'm not sure what would have happened to the rest of this stream. I mean, technically, we could have we could have been using rewind and uh, and and save states this entire time, but this isn't that kind of stream. We're not doing that. We only make save states in extreme situations, or at least we try to. The Tau Druaga, that was an extreme situation. I think we can agree on that. Man, how can this guy went die? Please, I, I need I need a bunch of spare lives to fight Shredder, you don't understand. Oh, he's, he's nearly on his way out. Also, cool extra feature, it re... Whoa, okay, we'll take that, that's fine, that's good, that's good. Uh, when you respawn after losing a life, usually it's away from the boss. He's invincible. Don't you know? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is correct. You only rewind when it's extremely funny to do so. <laughs> That's the rule. So I'm guessing the rules are the same here. We can't kind of want to uh, get them both helmetless. It definitely looks like he's... Oh, that's a cool lightning effect for the Nez. That's... that's sick. Okay, so he's unmasked. We'll leave him... we'll try and leave him be. Just barely missed me. Good soundtrack as well. Okay, we accidentally killed the clone, that's fine. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Gemini Man does look a bit a bit different, doesn't he? This isn't his theme either, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I joke like I've ever played a Mega Man game. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there is there is a version of Mega Man 2 that hacks it so that you play as Roll instead. Maybe I'll play that someday. Maybe that's how I get into Mega Man. Do not... <laughs> if that hurt to hear, please do not ask me any more questions about Mega Man. You will be... Bitterly disappointed. I could. I have. I've beaten Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy. That's the only one I've beaten. <laughs> that is that is actually true. You see, the problem was that the NES was not as big a deal in the U in the UK as it was uh, as it was in the US. So you know, Mega Man wasn't as big a deal here. That's why we only got five of them and not six. And now I'm a turtle. Oh, that sprite's adorable. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's a good tur that's a good ass turtle sprite if ever I did see one. We are we are starting to run out of lives a little, so hopefully Shredder will, you know, die in plenty of time. Ooh. Is that the clone or not? I can't tell. I, I think that may be the clone. Yeah, it's the clone. That's fine. Uh, good hit detection on my side there. That, that, that's fine. God, this fight goes on forever. We're down to our last life. Come on, really? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, one more try. If we could lose less lives on Krang, that would be advantageous. That, I mean, if I was gonna go, turning into a turtle seems like the best way. That's it. That's that's the that's the funniest way, and therefore that's the that's the way that we go. I could rewind, but it wouldn't be funny if I did. Yeah. <laughs> Shredder, Shredder clearly knows the matchup here. It's just the fact that they got so much health. Oh, have I got him in a loop here? Ooh. I had him in a loop, sort of. I see. I understand. So. If we can enter the Shredder fight with as many lives as possible, that's, that should help us out. See, when you, when you respawn, the boss has to make his way over to you and you can't get there fast enough to take advantage of your invincibility frames. They knew what they were doing. hit him as much as possible with the special attack that will also greatly assist us but ideally I would just like Crank to let us win come on Let me hit you, come on! Ooh, no. Well, we can get at least a couple of the special attacks in, it seems. Aha! We have him. Come on. Yes! Okay. We'll take that. That's fine. <laughs> I do like that they, they keep looking at the screen. They're like, please help me. I am but a humble turtle. Okay, good start. Bad start, I killed the clone too early. Very bad start, I got turned into a turtle. Cool. We, we may have to save scum with this one. <laughs> Maybe a little. If the clone would just stop getting in my way, that would be fantastic. This one's tough. This is a difficult one. Don't you dare. Don't you do it. Woof. No. No. I dodged it the first time. I think, I think we got it this time. I think we got it. Please stay in the corner. Please, please, please let your helmet come off. Ooh, nearly there. Come on.
so much health. Yes, okay, cool. Excellent. Oh, and it's just him now. He's not bringing the clone in. Okay. I think we got this this time. Yes! Sick! We did it! Woof! Oh, there it goes. Whew, nice. Okay, good work. Do we get the set? Ah! Freaked the foot, mangled the mouses, and totaled the technodrome. That's turtle power. What had the shredder and crang? Burn to toast, vaporize to milkshake, or escape to Dimension X? Until we know none of us can sleep sl <laughs> sleep safely in our beds, uh, shells. They did correct the stulling error, so that's something. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Oh, a unique ending, okay. Congratulations. Dino! What the? Dino! D uh. Uh, ha, ha, hi, everyone! Uh. uh. <laughs> um, I see you've brought your, uh, raccoons. Hi! Uh. <laughs> we're, um. Well, we're not, we're not ending just yet. Thank you so much, Dino, for raiding. Um, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, D D Dino just showed up with a lot of people. Uh, hi. I I'm, 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 I'm Tefid Snake. I'm a, I'm a, I, I do this sort of nonsense. <laughs> I, you just joined in to watch me finish. Everyone is here, just like in the game. Yes. Hi, K-Price. Okay, woof. Um, so, we just finished Nez, uh Turtles Arcade. So, uh, yep, yeah, we're... Uh, <laughs> Hi, Dino. <laughs> the problem is we stream at around the same time, so we, we never we never cross paths. We are we are ships in the night, but that's fine. So uh, we're not we're not done yet. We're not done just yet. Oh, presented by Ultra. Definitely not Konami. We didn't. Oh. Ha ha ha! Oh, he's back. He's not dead yet. Oh, that's that's what we call a a, a, a sequel hook. So, uh, okay, now now that we've done that, uh, hang on, I need to fuck about with this. Okay, I'm switching over to my normal controller because it uh, makes it easier to do what we're going to do now. We're we're going to the uh, we're going to the art museum. We're going to check out some art. <laughs> so, uh, this, uh, this set has a very extensive extra section, extra section. So you got, you got boxes and manuals, you got ads and catalogs, you got comic books, stills from all of the animated shows and behind the scenes stuff. So, uh, and the music and a strategy guide. So, let's go, let's look at the box. So here was, uh, here's the box for the arcade game. There's no, there's no Pizza Hut references, sorry. It's not happening. Uh, that is, that is a way to phrase that. Yo, after being treated like garbage by the Ninja Turtles, Shredder has trained a new, more merciless breed of foot soldiers to inflict his revenge. A clan of over 700 Taekwondo Turtle Terminators, who have once again captured April O'Neil to use as turtle bait. Wow.
So uh, there's there's your box. Oh wait, hang on. There's also the the Japanese box, which is much the same. Oh wait, hang on. Oh hey. Pretty sure that's from the first film. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, Cowabunga. You said it. They they said it twice. Okay, cool. So we also have manuals. Welcome to the world of Ultra. You're now the proud owner of Ultra's authentic version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. We suggest that you read the following instructions thoroughly before taking on Shredder's 10 levels of turtle ripping terror. Oh boy. There's, 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 this, this, these, these manuals are a lot. Okay, I like this one. No, the Turtles agents didn't force them to appear on a sappy game show. This is your select Turtle game screen. Raphael's weapon of choice is a bad attitude and dual side daggers. Uh, something will work. Oh, and uh, you'll get a kick out of this advice. If you press A, then B, while pressing the control pad left or right, your turtle will jump kick. We got screens of the uh, of the different scenes in the game. Venom Blade Vincent Van Growl <laughs> That's cool. And here, these are the these are the two new guys that they introduced. Tora and Shogun, these two infamous intergalactic bounty hunters, are looking to tag team the turtles. Tora will test your skills in the radical new and never before never before seen three one three part one. Shogun will shock your senses in scene six. Yeah, I I I wasn't a big fan of scene six, honestly. Not not gonna lie. Interestingly, they, they didn't get rid of any of the uh, copyright stuff here. This Ultra Games cassette is a precision crafted device with complex electronic circuitry. Avoid subjecting it to undue shock or extremes in temperature. Never attempt to open or dismantle the cassette. Are, 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 you, are you getting this? Are you writing this down? Okay, um, so what else we got? We do actually have, there is a, a, an operator's manual for the arcade game. So this is the parts list. If this is, uh, if you happen to have a board. Oh, okay, that's good. It's FCC regulation compliant. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Where's the dip switches? They're here somewhere. Oh, no, they're not. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what else? Oh, there was some... Aha! There is also a bunch of uh, behind-the-scenes stuff. Not too much. Ultra Games. Yeah, Ultra Games is all one word. So, uh, this, is the, this is the official style guide. Which is interesting because some of these look really off model, which is kind of funny. And that that seems about right. Faces. Now the these this one, this one that doesn't really look like April. She's she's kind of all over the place there. And Bebop, I guess? He's a bit hunched over. Ground Chuck, who's... I think he's in Manhattan Project. We'll see him later. Rocksteady. And the logo, of course. So, sadly, there is nothing for the arcade games. But they do have uh, design documents and enemies for the, uh, for the NES game. 
Now here's the best part. Okay, so this is all in uh, this is all in Japanese. There's captions. So this is just uh, how to start the game. Player select screen. Heroes in a <laughs> oh oh yeah no okay that's that's just in uh, that's just in English. <laughs> color blue, good to know. And his color uh, color is purple. <laughs> April stunt double. The craziest turtle. Once enraged, there's no predicting what he'll do. Uses the Psy weapon. Michelangelo. A childish but lovable turtle. Uses the Nunchaku weapon. That's cute. The player movement controls. Ah, oh, these are adorable. <laughs> I love stuff like this. B button while jumping. Enemy damage big. <laughs> what else we got here? Player. De so this is like how you can be hurt. Fall into a hole, mash A to get out. Oh, you can see the eyes as well. <laughs> oh, that's that's good. I like that one. Uh, getting eaten by a mouser. Oh! <laughs> Grabbed by the foot soldier. Frozen. Electric. There's a lot of ways for turtles to die. Ah, oh, the drawings are so good. Supporters for turtles. Splinter. Currently in the form of the rat. Of a rat. That is actually a Japanese ninja master named Hama Hamato Yoshi. He is the turtle's guardian and teacher. April O'Neil. Popular TV newscaster. A lovely woman involved in the inciting incident that strings the turtles into action. Enemies, commanders of the evil foot clan. His body is just a brain. Leader of the foot clan, his true identity is Rukusaki, Hamato Yoshi's fellow disciple. Currently, he is an emperor of evil seeking to take over New York. He plans to demutate the turtles with his re retro mutagen ray generator. Wow. Oh, that's, that's a that's a that's a cool draw on the shredder. Th those th those are uh, the Rocksteady Bebop. Oh, hello. Metalhead has the knowledge of the turtles, but not the heart. This powerful enemy can display frightening attacks. Oh, it was, this is a scrapped boss. They were planning on having Metalhead in this. <laughs> Max to Stockman. A subservient scientist. There's a... Uh... Oh, he's just called Stone Warrior. Okay. And uh, there's General Trag. Oh. K Clang's confident, is he? I see. <laughs> I understand that. And this is just sort of generic enemies. I'm so glad they, they, they translated all of this stuff. This annoying mechanical bug shoots lasers. Oh, there's another discarded enemy. Oh, there were going to be wasps. Fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah. Techno Mosquito, planned for stage 8. Oh, I guess, uh, I guess uh, that new boss was, uh, was a polar bear. I thought it was a rat. <laughs> sliding Door Art Tiger. The painted tigers on the sliding doors come to life thanks to ninjutsu. Understood. And uh, there's Sh Shogun, Samurai Master. The Samurai Robot awaits the turtles deep inside the Ninja Mansion. His katana skills easily rival Leonardo's. 
And uh, I think we're back at the yeah, we're back at the start. But oh, they have individual pages for each. Holy shit! Wow. The main fodder enemy. So there's there's your roadkill, Rodney. One wheeled robot. Oh, this is this stuff is great. And they have um, they have like all the technical details. We'll just we'll just skip through these. But still, it's it's really neat that they managed to dig this stuff up. I wish they could have found more stuff for the uh, for the arcade games, but you know that's fine. Does he have a name at this point? No, it's just Polar Bear Fighter. And they have different health values for... Uh, depending on what mode you're in. TV bug. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't blame you. You, you just, you just want to see as much of this stuff as you can. I'm guessing there's going to be no scrapped enemies here. How much health did this fucker have? 18 H. Still, I thought that was uh, I thought that was the, uh, the amount of health. Thanks to Ninjitsu, the painted tigers on the sliding doors come to life. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay. Oh, the head was invincible, I see. And there's Shredder. He can clone himself, because of course he can. Okay, that's that's all that we have there. But there's there's plenty of other stuff we'll be looking at later. Uh, for now, I tell you what, there is one thing I kind of have to show off. So. Um, Oh well, first off we've got, there's the uh, there's the full flyer, US flyer, there's a different Japanese flyer, it's looking quite nice, I like the, uh, the, the comic panel approach there. What the? What's all this English text? I know we're not just discussing any Teenage Mutant Ninja for the kind, wow. What the hell is this text? Oh, it seems like it's all jumbled up though. What is this? What is this stuff? Oh, that's cool. Most played video game. Oh, the uh, arcade machine operators of America, I guess. Oh no! Oh, don't advertise Punk Shot! That game sucks! <laughs> They'll be back. So, okay, right. I I'm gonna I'm gonna skip through. So here's the here's an advert for the for the NES version. Gross. They've mutated again. In the never before seen ninja castle, you'd be wise to choose a partner before you pick a fight. Yeah, it looks like it's an article on where turtles came from, but all the text is just in the wrong places. Oh, here we go. They did include a few adverts for the hero turtles version. Lovely April O'Neil has been abducted once again by the repulsive shredder. Yeah, and uh, in the in the UK, in Europe, um, they had the the classic silver Konami style box. Anyway, here's a gigantic advert for Parodius. That's the that's the stuff. Oh, and I guess there's a Turtles game as well. <laughs> you know, we're gonna focus on this. We're gonna focus on what's what's important. 
<laughs> He's got a cigar! 5,800 yen, not bad. 7,000 yen for Ninja Turtles, though. Gotta pay premium for that. So we're gonna skip past that one. Skip past that one. We, we will look at these properly another time, but for now... What happened here? <laughs> Obviously, Konami did other licensed games, so there's a bunch of games that they couldn't show off. Also, uh, early box art for... Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's the... Um... No, it's the... That's, that's the UK box art. Hero Turtles. What is this mysterious game? <laughs> So if you zoom in, you can just barely see what game it is. They forgot to get rid of the Stein. It's uh, Tiny Toon Adventures, uh, Buster's Hidden Treasure. <laughs> they they, they should have got rid of that Stein. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, there was a Tiny Toons on the Mega Drive. Yeah, they, they, they forgot to get rid of that Stein. There you are, my beloved. Rocket Knight. <laughs> yeah, just 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 in case you missed that, if you look very carefully at the spine, it's very clearly uh, Tiny Toons. <laughs> They've had to do this with quite a few of these adverts, which, you know, it makes sense. I mean, th there's another particularly egregious one. Konami just took your favourite shows off the TV. They, they definitely took one show off TV. <laughs> I don't know about the other one. <laughs> this is the uh, the Game Boy, um, the Game Boy Tiny Toons game. And there it is again. It's tiny, meant to be Tiny Toons on the left. Weirdly, weirdly, uh, Skate or Die survived. Uh, the other game here is meant to be Defender of the Crown. I guess they figured the the horse and the guy on the horseback was generic enough that they could get away with it. But they didn't have to censor references to Skate or Die. That's weird. Uh, for the reference, I'm playing this on PS4. Um, Were there? Oh yeah, there's there's a, there's a couple more where they do this. In particular, there's all these uh, pocket games and uh, Cowabunga, the Turtles Talk, <gasps> Splinter Steaks, and then they have a bunch of games we can't show you. We can reference Blades of Steel, but we can't show it. For some reason, we can show you the a screenshot of Nemesis, but not the box art. And I'm guessing this game here is meant to be Quarth, which they also can't show. I'm not sure why. Yeah, yeah, the, the Tiny Toons games are like super hard, it's ridiculous. One of the world's most popular titles. Me yes, Metal Gear is here. Metal Gear? There he is, Carl Reese himself. Can't believe it. He's finally made it to the stream. <laughs> Gear up for impressive sales. Yeah, this is uh, this is for dis distributors, so you can kind of tell. Just just the way that it's phrased. And there is at least one advert for. Uh, um, home computer game versions. We've intensified our commitment to design and produce number one selling action and adventure computer games. So th there's some things they're allowed to show, but others they're not. And I'm, I'm not I'm not convinced about the photoshopping here. I'm, I'm <laughs> I, I don't think his head really belongs there.
Oh, yeah, did they make a Garfield game? Okay, interesting. Anyway, we'll probably look through some of the other extras another time. Uh, for now, though, <laughs> I've been streaming for three hours. Uh... Yeah, Raincoat and Hat is more Raph style, that's right. Well, uh, thank you for, for 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 showing up to my stream. Uh, we will be uh, playing more of the games on here. Oh no no no! I'm not, I'm not done. I'm not doing. I've got to, I've got to, I've got to do the bit where I where I I talk endlessly until before the stream ends. <laughs> um, what was he gonna say? Okay, so uh, let's go to the. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we are. Stream end. Okie dokie. Is it picking me up? Good. Okay, so uh, next stream is going to be Friday, I think. Yes, it's going to be Friday. We're going back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night, uh, which I made a little ways into last Friday, uh, two Fridays ago. So we'll be getting back to that. And then next time we play this, I don't know which games we're going to be playing. I'm trying to put as many games between me and the NES and the, the first NES game as possible, because <laughs> that's that's gonna be a kit. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> for now, though, uh, thanks everyone for showing up. Thank you so much for the raid, uh, the subscription, and the follows. Uh, very, very, uh, very kind of you. Uh, you all take care, and I will see you next stream. Bye bye.